The dependency theory on the other hand opposes the modernization theory. Its main argument is that, the persistent increment in industrialization in the developed countries, rather equally subject poor countries to underdevelopment, as a result of the economic surplus of the poor countries, being exploited by developed countries. It was a great analysis done by Frank Agunda, by being able to debunk the weak, non-historical and ethnocentric issues, propounded by the modernization theory, Webster 1984. Also, Gunder succeeded in pointing out the economic inequalities among the developed and the developing countries, as well as the rampant internal inequalities, in the various periphery countries and the exploitation of economic surplus developing countries during colonialism. Again, the theory posits an essence emphasis on the fact that development is not mainly based on the cultural values, but rather the economic and social structures, and procedures. Dependency theory incurs some weaknesses. Frank failed to exhibit the specific and key dependency of the less developed countries on the metropolis, he merely stated that poor countries depend on rich countries, with no specific clarification. The theory downplays internal development. It promotes the idea that indigenous industries cannot develop by its productivity, which is not true. Moreover, the theory refuses to point out how the developed countries get access to the economic surplus of the third world countries.